One thing I like sharing with students is something I wish I was told when I was in school, and that's the difference between titanium white and transparent mixing white. So let's take a look at the two. In this case, we have titanium white, and if we look at the color index number, it says PW6, pigment white 6, the 6 indicates that it's titanium white. And we notice here from this filled in square that it's opaque. So it's a really strong opaque white. And then we look here, and this is transparent mixing white. Now the color index number here says PW, again, pigment white, but the four indicates that this is zinc white, and our box here indicates that it's transparent because it's not filled in. So let's take a look at what that looks like when we mix these together with quinacridone crimson. And, and for me, where this comes into play is when I was in grad school, I was painting a lot of portraits and I didn't realize how overpowering titanium white was and all my skin tones, they look sort of pasty and sort of washed out. I wish I knew about transparent mixing white. So there's quinacridone with our titanium white. And when we mix that together, immediately we get a, a really gorgeous pink color. It's, it's very, very pretty. Makes me think of something if you were doing botanical paintings, you might choose this for roses. And then we clean that off and then let's do the same thing. But this time, again, we use quinacridone crimson, but with our transparent mixing white. And with the same ratio of quinacridone to white, look at how much stronger this mixture is right here. Because that's a more transparent white, because it's not as op uh, opaque, it's, it's not as powerful as the titanium white, we get more of the true color coming out of there. Now, it, it's, it doesn't mean it's a bad thing to have that lighter hue from the titanium white. It's just something to be aware of. Where I also think it comes into play and where I think it can be very affordable for you is when we use an introductory range. So this is basics. This is our introductory range in Liquitex. And one of the things I'm always telling students is that when you have an introductory range, it has less of a pigment load. Pigment's the most expensive component of your paint. So if you have less of a pigment load, that makes an introductory range more affordable. But imagine this, less of a pigment load, and then mixing with titanium white, you can really knock back the color a whole lot. So that's where I might suggest getting more bang for your buck with that introductory range by using the transparent mixing white. So just remember, there's always more than one option when you're choosing a white.